Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. I am kind of yelling at the camera today. I'm pulling a Parker because I am very, very excited about this upload and the big thing I got to show you is right out there. Uh, kind of a gloomy day, but that's not going to stop us from having fun. I don't think it's showing in the camera right now. Maybe it is a little bit, but I got something epic for the truck. Now, if you guys are some real OGs from way back in the day, you might remember my truck actually came with one of these and my first order of business, the first thing I ever did was get rid of it. And that's because I never really liked them for myself. I thought it was like an old man thing, hence the name, the PAP. So I got rid of it, but recently I was like, you know what, I think it'd be kind of cool to try this out and just see. And besides the lift kit and the wheels and tires and maybe the bumpers and everything, I have never done anything to the Dirty Max that has changed the looks this much. And I'm pretty stoked about it. Now, this is not necessarily a permanent thing. I might just keep it for the winter. I might take it off next week if I decide I don't like it. But either way, it looks pretty freaking sweet. And without further ado, here is the new Dura Bourbon on the channel. Look at it. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! It is freaking sick and I can't believe, I just can't believe how different it looks. Now, like I said, my truck originally had a cap on it, but it wasn't this nice. And uh, like I did say, I am going to get into the whole story on it here momentarily, but it's a matching silver birch metallic cap and it makes the truck look a hell of a lot different. That's for sure. I mean, let me know what you think in the comments. I know it's kind of, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Other times I'm like, ah, oh, that's hideous. Um, you know, I'm generally not a fan of caps at all. Uh, but I felt like this would be a cool thing for the winter at least or for a little while I can store stuff and I don't have to worry about it getting snowed on or whatnot in the bed. I do live in Pennsylvania and I'm sure we're going to be seeing snow soon, although it's kind of warm right now. But yeah, it's got the seamless windows, which is really cool. It doesn't have like an ugly rubber, you know, uh, weather strip around it. It's got a locking back here. It's a really, really nice cap. Got the brake light up top and uh, let me get the key so I can unlock it. But I mean, that is the look. And I think the best angle, to me anyway, the best angle is right here because it actually does look like a Suburban from the back. And uh, it looks pretty sweet with the wheels sticking out. You know, it's got the stance, but it's also got a cap. So it looks like an SUV and you rarely see like super wide stanced SUV. So I think it's kind of unique looking. This angle to me looks pretty sick. Like that looks awesome. And there's so many more cool things I could do. Like imagine if I put, a spare tire carrier on the back and like a roof rack on it. Now that would be insane. Like that would look so freaking cool. Uh, so maybe I go crazy and do more mods. It's always winter time that I decide to do things to the truck because generally you know, I can't drive the cars during the winter. So I start doing truck stuff. That's another cool angle right there. I think like the down, the downward angle looking up looks, uh, so the upward angle, I guess you would say, uh, to me looks pretty freaking cool. And I don't know, I mean, it just makes the truck look very different. It looks like a gigantic SUV. And I think it would look really, really great with a wrap, which I may or may not be planning with our friend in Shane Designs. Give you an idea of kind of the window line right there. It really looks suburban-like from this angle. And if I had a crew cab, it would look even more like a suburban, I think. But because I have that small back window, it looks kind of strange. But I could do like, I could put a black wrap uh, you know i could make the whole thing black which would be kind of neat but anyway there it is there is the cap let me get the keys real quick crazy is it just makes the truck look even bigger like even more, more of a beast just adds so much more size to the truck you know and i think it looks pretty sick and again let me know what you think in the comments but uh okay here are the cap keys right here and uh now when i reverse i can't see anything at all out of the back i have two layers of tinted windows so that's uh you know, that's good. All right, so you have to turn the whole thing. Sorry, I've never done this before, but there it is. And now look at all this lovely space we have back here. We have so much space that we can haul shit like my spare tire and uh, it'll keep it nice and protected. Plus side is that I am protecting the bed finally, which I've never done, never got a bed coating for it. Um, but now we are protecting it. Let me get up in here. Our light is working, I can tell you that, but you know, there, there is so much room for activities here in the back of the Dirty Max now, uh, limitless possibilities, who knows what we could do. Joking aside, we could put a mattress back here, we could camp, we could have a little 
We could have a little fire and roast marshmallows. I mean, you could do any number of things. And this will actually be really nice for the beach because I can put all my stuff back here and like my whole family, we can put all the luggage here in the back, which I couldn't do before because obviously, you know, you can't put stuff, it's gonna get rained on in the back of a truck. But now we can put it all back here and people don't have to worry about you know, luggage and having a cramped car, they can have all the space they need. So I think having a cap is gonna be really practical for a lot of reasons. I'm pretty hype about it. It's very cozy in here. If I'm ever homeless, if YouTube ever takes a dump, um, I think I'll just live in the back of the truck. And then you just put your tailgate up and you flip this down and I think you turn this, right? And then we turn the key. Yep, and that's locked now. And this is kind of neat, it's like a, got a magnet on it. I don't know what the brand of the cap even is though. It says DT on the keys, but it's really nice. Like a very, very nice cap. The paint uh, color match is really good. Like I said, the windows are good. And now let me tell you the story of how I got it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you're gonna know this already. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? I need all the help and all the followers I can get. It makes me feel like if I don't have followers, you know, I just, I'm so sad. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Anyway, I did put up a post about, I would say two weeks ago, asking you guys what you thought about a cap. And I actually was kind of surprised by the response. You know, a lot of people said, go for it. A lot of people said, get a cap. And I got so many DMs from you guys about, you know, your trucks with caps and which is really cool. And I appreciate, you know, all of you reaching out. UPS truck got some freaking turbo spool boys. Jesus Christ. Um, but I responded to a few and that was really cool to see that and that really was definitely a big part of my motivation to actually go out and do it to say you know what a lot of people rock this you know I think it looks cool in other trucks I'm gonna try it and uh, you know I I really really like it now again I'm not saying I'm gonna keep it forever but I do like it you know and it's something that I can just change it takes two minutes to change it I can even do it myself it's a little heavy but it's doable and it's really cool to have, and I can store it right there where the quad is. I could put it in my storage room. Um, you know, it's really not that big when you put it vertically. So anyway, I, I get to look it on Craigslist, which I do all the time, which is a mistake. I shouldn't because I don't, I don't need any more cars. I don't need any more projects. I don't need more shit, but I still look on Craigslist anyway. And I'm looking, I'm like, okay, well, let me look for a truck cap and maybe I can find one and whatnot. And, I'm looking, I don't find anything. I find a couple for some Fords and Dodges. I kind of tossed around the idea of like, well, maybe I can get one for a Ford because I know you know, it should like roughly fit. It might look a little weird, but it will fit. Um, so I'm looking and then I decide, you know what, let me bump up the search area to 100 miles instead of the, uh, you know, the default on Craigslist, which I think is like 25 or 50 miles. And I find one in Waynesboro and I'm looking and it looks gray. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, it's gray, but I'm sure I'm not gonna get lucky, right? Like, there's no way this, this is gonna work. So I click on the post, I go down, it says for an 05 Chevy. And I'm like, all right, 05 Chevy extended cab, here we go, what are the chances? And then I look at the color and he says the color is pewter. And I'm thinking, well, they, don't, they didn't make a pewter truck. That was no, you know, color. You know, does he really mean silver birch metallic? So I type in on Google images, I look up a pewter 2005 Chevy and every truck that comes up is, what do you know, silver birch metallic. So I'm thinking to myself, there is no way I got this lucky. There's no way that I found not only the right fit for the right truck, but the right color too. Like what are the fucking, and there's only like, you know, 20 caps on all of Craigslist. So what are the chances that I would find the exact right one? So I call him and I make him an offer. He was asking 500 bucks. I offered him, I think 200, which is kind of a low blow. Cause it, and I didn't know how nice it was. Um, so I offered him 200, he said no. And I said, all right, well, what's the best you can do? I'm trying to save money. And he said, I'll take 300 for it, done deal. So I got that truck cap, matching paint, fits my truck perfectly, all that for 300 bucks. And I think that's freaking awesome. Here we go guys, if you can't tell, I am super, super proud of myself and of the cap. But that is the story of how I found the perfect truck cap for 300 bucks, only about an hour and 10 minutes away. So just a quick, uh, real quick update for you. We got more truck mods here in this box. Something very cool, custom made by SoFlow Retros. And look at this parking. Now, I pulled up next to this pole. Look at how close that is. Oh. Whoop. 
Jesus. Guys, that's all I got for you. There is the cap on the Dirty Max. Uh, I do have some other stuff planned this week, which is very exciting. I know this is kind of a walk around video, but I was super, you guys, it's already been on the truck for two days. And you guys don't know how excited I was to make this upload, but I had other videos I had to release first. Um, but yeah, I, I freaking love it. And there she is, the new Dirty Max Dura Bourbon. The Dura Bourbon. And since everybody on YouTube just copies what I do with my truck anyway, let's see if we can start a new trend of truck caps. Anyway, once again, let me know what you think of the Dura Bourbon in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night. You look at it!